Happy New Year! <laughs> so it is the 1st of January today and it got me thinking about New Year's resolutions. Now, we all have our classics, get fitter, get slimmer, be a better person, be more organised, otherwise excuses just to be better people in our own little ways. But it also got me thinking that we do this every year to ourselves. We make a resolution and then a couple of weeks, maybe a month if you're lucky, we end up abandoning it. We just can't stick to them. My resolution would probably be to eat healthier. I mean, I don't exactly need to lose weight, I know that, but I'm not exactly the greatest at eating my fruit and veg in five a day. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be so much easier if by the time New Year's came around, we'd already done our New Year's resolution, we'd already completed it and we could tick it off our list at the start of the year. Now wouldn't that be a good way of starting off 2019? But then I would have had to have thought of that in advance. Exactly one month in advance. If only we could rewind time. <laughs> Hello my savages and welcome back. Today is December the 1st. And so you might be wondering why am I making a video a month in advance? Well, that is because I have decided to take up the challenge of doing a diet. Now you may be wondering why on earth does she need to go on a diet? She's skinny as it is already. You know, she can put her fingers around her wrist. This diet is not about losing weight. I have come to the realization I really don't have a very good diet. I don't eat much fruit or veg, and I was recently told by my doctor that I have a very low creatinine level, which actually just means in English that I don't eat a lot of fresh veg and fruit which is actually having a bad effect on my skin I have actually some very nasty dry skin on my hands and it often cracks quite painfully um, it's really really irritating so I've come to the conclusion I really really need to improve my diet eat more fresh fruit and veg but more importantly I also need to take out all that sugary stuff and all the cookies and all the drinks and even my beloved peanut butter to give my body a chance of balancing out and having a fresh start because god knows i've struggled with acne since i was 13. i have breakouts every week and it's absolutely infuriating especially because i don't feel that makeup is a comfortable way for me to cover that up so i have to bear it bare face <laughs> to that end my face, my diet, my skin, they're all valid reasons for me improving my diet and for this next month I will be showing you week by week what I'm eating, what I get up to and potential some of the solutions I use in order to change around the things that I usually have like the sugary drinks for smoothies and the peanut butter sandwiches I have for breakfast for porridge and granola and yoghurt and how insane this is going to turn me i do not know but be warned you may see more of the savage than you're used to seeing unfortunately this challenge came at a very bad timing because my auntie recently sent me a wrapped box of my favorite biscuits from germany prince roller biscuits and they're just they're most they're most amazing biscuits ever and I cannot get them in England and they just arrived on the day I'm starting my diet so I am really kicking myself already. So the rules of this challenge are that one, I am allowed to have something that has salt in it, I'm allowed stuff that's got added sugar, but it cannot be a high level of sugar. It's got to be within the amber or green health warning zones that you see on the packaging in the UK. Two, I am allowed three cheap meals. 
So throughout the month, I will be able to break from the diet three times. And bear in mind, there's four weeks in a month, that's three meals in a month. Three. Some may say that's cheating, but I say that is a very necessary lifeline because I have chosen to do this in December and I'm aware that there'll be real temptations this time of the year. There's going to be chocolate, there's going to be Christmas meals, there's going to be alcohol, there's going to be a lot of festivities that I'm just going to be finding very difficult to resist. So I've allowed myself those three lifelines to help me out in a dire situation if need be. And one of those will be used for Christmas Day for my Christmas meal because that comes once a year. I'm not missing out on that. And rule three, no alcohol none whatsoever there's often a lot of sugar that goes into having a lot of alcohol there is one where they have natural occurring sugars in which is fine to eat but then there are others that have fermented sugars in them stuff that's happened through the production of fermenting the alcohol and unfortunately some wines don't put that on the bottle there are other drinks that I could potentially have but I really feel that if I really want to knuckle down on this challenge that I'm just going to cut out alcohol altogether. It just means that my body can have a full cleanse and be ready for the New Year's. Because there's going to be a lot of drinking and a lot of hammered people on that night. Let's do this! Good morning everyone! It is day one of the low sugar challenge and I'm about to get breakfast. It's actually nearly 12 um, and I've about woke up about half an hour ago. That's what happens when you do late night gaming. Anyway. Nope. I'm gonna do something I've never done before, which is have yogurt with my breakfast cereal and actually throw in some jam in there. I found this really nice recipe online for this posh, almost dessert-like breakfast, and I'm giving it a go. That is actually amazing. Oh, that is so good. But you can't have any. This is my breakfast. Go get your own breakfast. So day one, after breakfast, because I forgot to weigh myself beforehand like a pillock. I am roughly eight and a half stone. So losing weight isn't entirely what this is all about. But I know I'm a lazy bastard, so I don't know where I'll end up. These are all the drinks and the chocolate bars and the crisps and the snacks at where I work. And I can't have any of them. This sucks. It's staring at me. Hi guys, so I'm actually recording on my new phone here. And this is my normal Friday meal, stuffed pasta, my favourite, and I usually have loads and loads of butter on mine. I literally I lavish it. Um, but unfortunately, due to the diet, I can only have one piece of butter. I hate this diet already. Hi guys, apologies for the messy hair. It was raining outside. So I'm currently staying at my mate's house. Say hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Um, and I had to go out for them to get food and I went to the shop and I managed to get a nice bit of pasta and like neat drink but apart from those two things there was practically nothing there that was healthy or didn't have a ridiculous amount of sugar or salt in them it was literally fast food galore this challenge is going to be way harder than I thought it's really hard to be in public because there's literally temptation everywhere it's just screaming, eat me. Are you, are you enjoying your triple chocolate hot chocolate? Yeah. 
Your deluxe whipped cream with extra chocolate chips. Cool person. So, in Tesco's, shopping, and we need lots of fruit. We need lots of fruit. They look quite nice. Right, fruit is sorted for the week. And I need to find another. Where's she gone? Is that? No. I think about trolleys, it's like playing game of dodgems. Uh, we've come to my the cursed bakery aisle where we have all my favourite snacks. And I have to ignore each and every one of them because instead of getting the chocolate croissants that I love for breakfast or the brioche rolls, I have to get wholemeal bread. Which tastes disgusting. I don't mind half and half, but I can't stand wholemeal, but I've got to have it. Oh, shopping is going to suck so much. I usually love shopping. This week at shop is going to be really, really difficult. Just trying to find alternatives to uh, the stuff I usually eat and trying to find healthy snacks that I will eat. Because I've got uh, one problem I have is that I struggle with the texture of items. I love the smell and the taste of mushrooms, but if I try and eat one, I gag. I honest to God gag and I cannot swallow it. And it's infuriating because that would be a really good healthy snack to have. Just some lightly fried onions. Who knows what I could put it with. It could be anything, but I'd happily just snack on them. The nuts is a really good alternative, but I don't like them either. They're way too dry for me. I'm such a picky eater. And being vegetarian as well means I can't have any of the usual meat that will give me the protein that I need. So I have to be really careful that I find alternatives to that as well. And so all, you know, the diet that I'm doing, low sugar, low salt, no meat, no anything like that. This weekly show is <sighs> going to be so frustrating. And that was my mother giving me a weird look in the background. Yes, we are shopping at the same time. This is the worst aisle in the entire store. Let's just get through it as fast as you possibly can. Gangway! Whee! On the hunt for healthy, healthy alternative to crisps. And... Welcome to there, way too salty. We can just look at that. <laughs> 8 grams of salt. 11% of it is salt. And variety crisps, can't have them. Mmm. So, I picked up some of these, which are actually really low on salt and sugar, and they're lentil crisps. I've never tried them before, so we'll give them a go. Lentil crisps from earlier. A bit dry, but actually they're really tasty. They've got that natural saltiness in the flavour, and it almost tastes like popcorn as well. They're really, really nice, actually. I like them. Mm. I think I might have these more often. So, time is now 3.20 in the morning. This is usually the time where I usually go and get a snack or something because I crave food every few hours and getting a midnight snack or more like a very early in the morning kind of snack is what I usually do and I've been really struggling not to do that I really think that the diet has really hit quite a low right now um yeah I'm really struggling not to eat sugary stuff like chocolate and even worse, peanut butter, because that was my favourite thing, and every time I want something to eat, it's just, it's on the forefront of my mind. I want it all the time. 
Um, I guess the only thing that's stopping me is myself. And I'm really starting to go a bit nuts. And I really don't know how much more I can say no to myself before I use one of my cheats. I haven't used any of my cheats yet, so I'm still good. And I mean, I was, I was really struggling when I was around at my friend Zoe's house. Um, you know, I was lying there thinking there is nothing one I want in the world more right now than a snack. And I couldn't, and I mean, I had snacks there. I had an entire box of fruit leaves, but I had to space them out because I didn't have any other food with me. Yeah, that was a real challenge. That, this, oh my god. This challenge is way harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I mean, I know it's funny right now, but I'm literally going nuts. Just not being able to have all the foods that I love and I want, knowing they're right downstairs, and that I could eat them, but I haven't stopped myself from eating them. I really don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to stand this before I go nuts. <laughs> I'm really, really hating this right now. Supplies are running low. This is the last stick of cheese in the house. There is no more. We've completely run out of spread. How am I going to finish my sandwich? This is a delicious plate of pizza and chips and mm, what the hell? Cider with it. Hi guys, sorry I'm in the dark a little, but as you can clearly see I'm at a theatre. It's the local theatre that I do a lot of performances here at. And it's the Christmas do. There's a lot of food and a lot of wine flowing. And there's a lot of temptation. And I don't know how long I'm going to laugh. <laughs> there will be many songs being sung later. And if anybody is tipsy while doing it, at least I can say it won't be me. There is so much food here. There's even birthday cake because it's Brian's birthday. Oh, this is so annoying. There's too much temptation. Sleigh bells ring the snow. I don't know this one. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card right. May your days be merry and bright. And may I'm at a Christmas do people and I'm sorry but I caved. I could not resist having a mince pie, it was too delicious and quite frankly I don't care. Say hello people. I'm having a great time and I've got three cheap meals. <laughs> I tried resisting for so long, but it was oh, it was so good. I love mince pies and I don't care. I'm having cake. If you're gonna break a diet, go all the way. I say. <laughs> Out with lunch with my lovely costume lady for my play I'm doing recently. And I ordered falafels in pita bread and they were not kidding. This thing is ginormous. I'm not even going to be able to finish it. But it looks delicious. Look at that. I finished all of it, every bit of salad except for the cucumber and a tiny bit of red cabbage. Because I mean, who likes red cabbage? But I finished all of it. Are you proud of me, Mum? Look here, just to prove I haven't had a single one of my Advent Canada chocolates. Look at them, they're all there. You'll go crazy. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> On the 24th of Christmas it is. 
day before Christmas itself. Let's see what other chocolate I can not have. Phew, it was starting to get claustrophobic in there. Yay! I look forward to having that. Good morning, my peeps. Today is the 31st of December. It is New Year's Eve. I am... What's the time now? 12.20. I am... 11 hours and 40 minutes away from completing this challenge from only using two of my cheat meals one was obviously for Christmas day and the other one was obviously for the Christmas party I went to and ironically I found that I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore on the first day of this challenge but amazing coincidences aside I have nearly finished this challenge and strange thing is I thought I would be absolutely hankering to get back on the biscuits and the sweets and I mean I am. I really want to eat my roller biscuits because they have been patiently waiting in a sealed packet but I also find myself grateful that I know that I've done this really, that I've pushed myself to eat better, to be healthier, and I found that it has finally clicked. It was a late comer, but truth be told, I'm just grateful that I did this. And I recommend that other people should do this too, to push yourself to give up those sugary snacks and those things that really don't actually do any good for you and see how much good you can do for yourself and then find your balance. Because I have had one breakout in a month, which is incredible, and I can fit into my favorite pair of jeans again. I am just very happy with myself. I'm very proud that I've done this and I cannot wait to count down the new year knowing that there is going to be a new, healthier, better me in 2019. I started this challenge at eight and a half stone. I have not weighed myself since that day one, so here we go. Focus. Holy crap! What the? That's not my eyes playing tricks on me. I've lost a pound! I've actually lost weight. I did not expect that in the slightest. <laughs> Small thing, but still, I'm really surprised by that. I know it's not easy to see there, but I can only keep it balanced when I'm standing up straight. Oh my god! <laughs> I was honestly not expecting to lose any weight at all. So that's a lovely surprise to end the year with. So, final meal before the diet is done. I'm going to show you how I'm going to cook it. So, main ingredient, corn peppered steak. There was a little bit too much pepper on, so I took the pepper off the top because I'm not a fan of it. And potato cakes. Now, corn has been a friend to me ever since I turned vegetarian and has been an absolute godsend during this uh, diet because it's a really, really good source of protein. And what you need to do is I'm just getting the pan nice and hot. As you can see, it's actually a little bit too hot, so I'm going to turn that down. And I'm just going to use some unsalted butter to cook it in because, well... I need butter, but um, I don't need the added salt with it. It's not much, but every little helps, as I like to say. I just want to get a little knob of that butter. Can't do this one-handed. So I just want to get a little knob of that butter. Just a little bit. Smack it in the pan and let it melt. So it's nice and all melted and around the pan, preferably not burnt as I've done it. And then you just take your peppered steak. Pop that in. And just do the same with the potato cakes because they both fry at the same time, which makes it really, really convenient. And sit back for six minutes while you let it do its thing.
Look at that. Done to perfection. Simple food, easy cooking, with a nice cold glass of apple juice to accompany it. High in protein, low in salt. It's just a really nice, delicious meal at the end of the day, and you don't even notice that it hasn't got a lot of calories in it. So I'm happy with that. Now it's time to go and eat this delicious meal and enjoy the fireworks. Happy New Year, people! <laughs> Had to get out of there because... And yes, I'm wearing a rainbow hat, because why not? I'm gay, I get to. Most important bit about the new year coming through. <laughs> this is alcohol. My diet is officially over. I can celebrate and eat whatever crap I like now. But I have to say, I don't particularly want to. Though, yes, I'm about to raid my freezer for the best tasting ice cream in the world, Ben & Jerry's, and sit down with a nice cold Coke & Malibu. I shall <coughs> tell you one thing. I have enjoyed this diet beyond all things I beyond imagining. I've actually enjoyed pushing myself to eat healthier, to be better, and, quite frankly, beating the punch to it. I can tick that New Year New Me off my list because I have already done it and I shall be continuing to do it for the rest of the year though I will still be enjoying my favourite tub of peanut butter every day I will do it with a little more consideration to how it might affect my diet and how I might feel because I have felt so much better since starting this diet I have felt fitter, healthier and even though I didn't do any exercise as part of this challenge, apart from a little bit, the occasional bit of planking, the fact that I lost a pound amazes me because it wasn't about counting calories, it wasn't about losing weight at all, it was just about trying to eat a bit healthier alongside and cutting down on all the sugary stuff that I usually eat. So for this right now, for me, the new me is already in the new year. So much has happened in this year. I've learned to drive. I got my first major role on a play. I was on TV. I came out to all my family. So I'm open, I'm out. Though I will say I never felt in a closet. I just felt that people needed it explained to. Because this was this year is the year that I found out about who I truly was and my sexuality. And I am wearing this hat in celebration of it. This year has been absolutely amazing and I cannot wait for 2019 to surprise me. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you have a very happy and savage new year. Peace out guys.